assembling of fluid coupling size 11 to 41 FCU. Keep all the components and parts ready for assembling. Locate the runner on shaft. Ensure that the vent holes are matching. Bolt the runner and baffle to the flange of the shaft using screw lock. Tighten the nuts by applying torque as per chart 8. Check that the bolt heads are on impeller side up to 11 FCU and casing side for 12 to 41 FCU. Put the baffle on runner. Heat the casing to fit the bearing housing. Put the o-ring and fit bearing housing. Heat the bearing housing to fit the ball bearing. Assemble the gland as per the drawings. Fit the inserts in two filling holes and fit plugs with bonded seals. Heat impeller bearing bore and fit roller bearing. Bolt the center spigot with joint to the impeller. Tighten the bolts by applying torque as per chart 8. Now lower down the casing assembly on runner shaft assembly. Now put the floating ring if coupling size is 17 and above on gland diaphragm. And tighten up the shaft nut. Heat the inner rays of the roller bearing and fit it on the shaft. Put circlip in the shaft's circlip groove. Put joint on the impeller. and lower down casing runner shaft assembly on impeller assembly. 
ensure that the double holes are matching. Put all the casing bolts and tighten up four bolts at 90 degrees each. Now insert feasible plug washer. Put the feasible plug and tighten it. Holding the shaft, rotate the casing and through the coupling. The bolt heads should be on casing side. Now tighten all the casing bolts. Fit the runner half coupling on the fluid coupling shaft by shrink fitting. Assembling of fluid coupling is complete.